Hi there, welcome back to Profit Plus, everybody. With me today, I've got Kirsty and Jade from DSK Environmental. So, firstly, a big hello to you, ladies. Hello. Hi. Hello, pleasure to have you here. So, for people that are actually watching this that don't know who you are and what you actually do, uh, perhaps you could give us a bit of an insight into that first. Of course, of course. So, we do asbestos removal, we do passive fire protection, industrial maintenance, and industrial coatings, as well as general site works. Fantastic. Good stuff. And just out of interest, how long have you been doing that for? Since 2020, just before COVID hit. Just before COVID hit. So what month in 2020 did you start up? In the February. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's surprising, actually. I speak to a lot of people that have done really, really well that started around sort of February, March, April time. Um, and for some reason, they, they've, they, you know, they've just got through it, you know, and actually starting the business at such a difficult time, you're thinking in the future, well, what else can happen really that's going to be worse than that? So you're in a really, really strong position to be resilient next time. So um, in terms of what's actually gone on since February 20, um, 2020, sorry, um, how, how have, how's the business actually fared in its first couple of years then? Really, really well. Fortunately, we were able to add other services um, to what we do. Um, so predominantly at the beginning, it was just purely asbestos removal, but then we went into the industrial maintenance. So we got some work on power stations, maintaining the plant so that um, all of the um, operations work well. Um, and we fed from there and then went into the um, passive fire protection. And um, yeah, it just kind of had a snowball effect and we we expanded. Fantastic. So what's the, what would you say the largest side of your business is right now? The largest side would be the asbestos removal. Um, I'd say that 70% of what we do um, is, is solely with that. Um, but the other areas are starting to pick up more because more people are understanding that we are doing um, other things with the, the passive fire protection and the, uh, the industrial maintenance and also coatings as well, shop blasting. Okay. Uh, power stations were a big, big thing in the beginning. Yeah. Fantastic. I think it's quite interesting, actually, because a lot of people I speak to, when um, I ask them, you know, do your customers know everything you do? Often the answer to that is, well, it's on our website. And then I always say to them, that do, how often do your customers look at your website? Because usually it's just prospects that look at it, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so well done that you've actually got your message across to people that you actually do other things other than asbestos removal. So that's really good. So what would you say are the biggest sort of changes that you've had to make in your business since you started then, guys? Um, the biggest changes, um, I would say adaptability and also being able to, because we've we've got, we're fortunate to have a broad spectrum of clients, um, being able to assist them in other areas. So we work um, alongside other businesses that don't do what we do, but we can kind of assist them and be um, like a one-stop shop we can take care of other areas like scaffolding, um, electrical works that kind of thing. So we've had to kind of adapt and understand the needs of the client so that we can fulfill their needs as a whole, rather than they have to go to so many different places, we can kind of pick it all up for them and take care of it for them. Fantastic. So so um, I'll come on to this in, in a minute, but but obviously we're looking for people, not just that, that want to use your services, but people you could maybe collaborate with as well, where yeah. you could refer business both ways, that could work quite well as well, yeah? Yeah, we do have a lot of um, friends. They're, they have become friends of ours. So um, if any of their services are needed, they can either work direct or if they want to go through us. The options are there and it's, it's all in the hands of the client, to be fair. Good, good, good. What's easier for them? Absolutely. So in terms of what sort of, um, what would you say your biggest win has been since you started in February 2020? Biggest win? Um, I'd say having the right people on board. Um, we're very proud of the team. Um, uh, secondly, um, which was last year, we won Asbestos Removal Contra Contractor of the Year 2022. Wow. Um, as part of the British Demolition and Asbestos Awards, um, which we're very proud of, very grateful for. Um, that was through Global News Media. So we was at the um, King's Power Stadium in Leicester last year, which is from my hometown. So it was nice to have that recognition and um and achieve that award um so yeah we're, we're very blessed and grateful to to um, accomplish that that's we sponsored this year's as well haven't we yes we've uh, we're sponsoring the award th this year's which is at Tottenham um Hotspur 
So oh, wow. I'm excited for that. And that's in September. So fantastic. Yeah. It's interesting, actually, because, I mean, awards are usually the things that people put out when asking that question. But your first your first answer was actually the people and the team you've got. Um, and I think, you know, why wouldn't it be? You know, if you've got if you've got a great set of people behind you, it's going to help you win those awards in the first place. Right. So it, it's sort of that has to come first, which I agree with. Brilliant. Um, so have there been any, any sort of issues you've needed to overcome over the last sort of couple of years, things that have been tough for you, maybe? Yeah, I mean, certainly, I think that there's been times when we've been a little bit quiet, but it's a kind of, you know, you just got to pull your socks up and just get on with it and get yourself out there. And I think that's, you can't really sit and dwell on how things are going. You just need to be focused and just keep, keep plodding on, keep smashing on. Absolutely. I think with every new business, that sort of peaks and troughs thing is always going to happen anyway, right? So it's going to be, you know, you haven't got enough team members one day and then the next day you've got too many and you haven't got enough work coming through. Oh, yeah. Resilient. So I think I think that's a really good point. Um, so um, this is a most, the, probably the most difficult question I've got lined up for you. What, what would you say you've learned about yourselves over this time? Definitely resilience. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to yeah. agree. I would have to agree that. Yeah, resilience, being determined, learning new things. I think it was a case of of that for a lot of people during COVID anyway, learning new things. And um, we're now work working towards an accreditation, an ISO accreditation that uh, comes under the UK government standards. Um, so that's something that, will open up a lot more doors for us um, moving forward as well. Good. Excellent. Yeah, I think that, that the resilience is something that's come up every every time I ask that question. I think resilience is the number one answer I get. But often what I've found is it's not what happens to us in life or business. It's how we deal with it, right? Deal with it. Absolutely. Every, every problem you and I have ever had, someone else has already had before. Some have dealt with it brilliantly well and some have dealt with it catastrophically badly. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it is we learn from those ones. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I prefer to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so in terms of the sort of um, your future plans for DSK, then what are you what's on the horizon out there at the moment? Well, we really we've got new, new, yeah, new, new business, new opportunities, um, obviously um, continue to be recognised as an award winning asbestos removal company. Um, yeah, I suppose just continuing to provide a high standard of, of work and safety so. fair enough so so in terms of the is there a specific side of the business that you're focused on obviously you know everyone wants to grow every side of their business that goes without saying but is there a particular side of the business which you're you're putting a bit of energy into at the moment in terms of growing it well yeah i, I think with with the isos like jade said it will open a lot more doors because there's certain clients that unless you've got these accreditations you're not getting to the next stage and we have came across that quite a lot so um we're really focusing all our energies um office office wise on on making sure that we're meeting these standards to open these doors of opportunity but in terms of what sections we're focusing on i think that we mm -hmm. predominantly work on them all really it's not that we just focus on one area it's yeah. um we're, we're open to to all of our services there's, yeah yeah there's probably yeah yeah. OK, so um, so final two questions for you, then, I suppose, is um, we discussed just briefly earlier that obviously you're looking to meet people who might want to use your services, obviously, as we all do. Uh, but also there might be people that, that might collaborate with you and where you could help them and they could help you as well. So if we start off with those types of businesses first, you mentioned scaffolding businesses. Are there other yeah. types of businesses out there as well that you'd like to meet that you might be able to collaborate with, guys? Yeah, for sure. Um, demolition companies, um, because a lot of the time we work alongside a lot of demolition companies carry out their own remo removals and um, but we do work with a few that sub out their asbestos so we can assist them with that um and also we we always have um uh, calls for uh getting quotes on on the demo um, mm. of buildings so we can then you know put put details their way and yeah. um yeah it's all about sharing, sharing, I guess. I suppose. And, and yeah probably more on the yeah construction industry Right. Yeah. So so would sort of commercial builders be of interest to you as well then, right? Yeah, for mm. sure. 
Good, good. Excellent. OK. Um, and then in terms of your sort of end end user, your end client, could you give us an example? You don't need to, get to, to give us names, but could you give us examples of a of a sort of an ideal client for you and an ideal end user client, shall we say? Yeah, I suppose somebody who understands the the risk element um, and respects, uh, you know, the, the risks and, you know, how asbestos ideally needs treating. Um, you know, that's that's really important, I think. And I think as well, sort of value in safety and, you know, not making any compromises on that. Fantastic. So so would it matter whether it was a commercial premises or a resi or would, would that would that be important? No, we're, we're no. open. We're open. We're open to 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 everyone yeah. um, because there's so much asbestos still out there as well in, in that respect. There's so much I don't think people are aware of, of the risks and especially people who are sort of refurbing their house or just even just buying a new one. You know, not aware of that. And we don't cherry pick work either, even the smallest of jobs. So say if somebody's fly tips on asbestos, we can assist them with that. Yeah. Um, and it's about educating them as well um, and putting their mind at rest because everybody hears asbestos and they panic. Um, but I think it's more important to be educated and to understand what you're dealing with. And that's where we can assist. Fantastic. So if any of your ideal clients are out there right now and they want to get in contact with you guys, um, how best can they reach you? Uh, so our website is safewithdsk.co.uk um, and email, the main email is info at dskenvironmental.co.uk and our phone number is 0345 314 2121. Lovely. OK, well, what we'll do is we'll add in the comments below. This is going out on YouTube and LinkedIn. So we'll add in the comments below what you've said to, to make it really easy for people to contact you. But for now, thank you so much. It's been really enlightening. I've loved speaking to you. And yeah, Likewise. catch up soon. Thanks so much. No worries. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.